In our pursuit of autonomous AI, today we are going to talk about Agent GPT. As the name suggests, Agent GPT lets you deploy AI agents using GPT. So all you need is your OpenAI API key and then you can deploy your own agent, AI agent or autonomous AI agent that is in the pursuit of a task. All you need is you need to have a name for the AI agent and you need to have a goal for the AI agent. Before I take you into the Agent GPT interface, I would like to quickly remind you. You gave your AI permission to overwrite code in the internal file system? Were you going to tell me about this? No. I thought that was the company policy these days. Okay. Well, your AI just failed epically. That's unclear. It's possible that son of Anton decided that the most efficient way to get rid of all the bugs was to get rid of all the software, which is technically and statistically correct. But artificial neural nets are sort of a black box, so we'll never know for sure. Hey, Richard. Have you seen the series called Silicon Valley? Like, if you have not seen it, I would strongly encourage you to watch the last season of Silicon Valley, where they actually develop an AI system, and the AI system grows, outgrows, and outgrows, and it becomes so capable that it can break encryption, it can, you know, deal with a lot of things. I'm not saying this is a Skynet situation, but I'm just saying that when you deploy agents that can outgrow themselves and learn continuously and then travel to, towards a particular goal which is set by a human being human beings know the consequences of goal but i don't think ai agents are knowledge enough or intelligent enough to actually pursue the goal with certain boundaries i think we are uh, in our pursuit of autonomous AI agents, sometimes I feel like what we are trying to do is we are trying to make these agents, AI agents, just go towards a particular goal. I, I mean, it's completely fine, but I'm not sure what kind of repercussions we will have as a society if all we are providing an agent is a goal and then ask it to pursue it. Um, pursue the goal at any cost. Like, I, I don't know what kind of legal boundaries are there at this point. I'm not talking about AI legal boundaries at this point, but I'm just generally saying that having only one goal and asking it an a, asking an AI agent to pursue that goal, at this point, at least these are simple large language models that are connected to a few systems. But at, like overall in the long run, I'm not sure what is going to happen. And that's exactly why I wanted to bring the example of uh, PiperNet or uh, the last episode or the last season of Silicon Valley. If you have not seen it, definitely you will enjoy it. You will thank me later for recommending Silicon Valley. But right now, let's go and talk about Agent GPT. Agent GPT is your web interface where you can assemble, configure and deploy autonomous AI agents in your browser. All you have to do is give a name of the agent and also specify a goal. Like for example, I would like to say make a billion dollar for me in ARR, uh, annual run rate, annual recurring revenue, and then give me that. So the agent GPT is going to start thinking, then identify a set of tasks and then start executing these tasks that will help me create a system that will uh, make a billion dollar. I don't I don't think it can actually literally give me a billion dollar. I mean, of course, if it can, everybody will subscribe to open AI API key and then start uh, running this thing. But at this point, this is an agent GPT, an autonomous AI system, very similar like what we have been seeing with auto GPT or baby AGI. So what is happening with this is this app became quite viral and uh, they have hit the limit at this point. Their API key doesn't work, so you have to manually enter your own API key like they're asking. So they have received um, a huge amount of traffic, so you need to enter your own API key. I would strongly encourage you to enter your API key at your own risk. The, the application is open source, but still um, I'm not usually very comfortable in entering my open API key anywhere. So now I want to create like a Python GPT, uh, that's a name, and I want to say create a machine learning application to interpret uh, captures. Uh, so can you solve capture? That's the question that I would like to ask. And as you can see, there is a new goal. It started thinking, it started looking for existing algorithms. It's developing a machine learning model, or at least the tasks it has added, and then it started executing the thing. So it, it is starting to uh, go to the details of how to come up with the solution. And uh, it talks about neural networks in CNN. And the, the point is, that this system is quite good in uh, pursuit of the goal that we we do. And it, it pursues this task and then it marks it completed and then it moves on to the next task because the tasks are already defined. And as you as you can see, I've already hit, it, it has already hit the API limit. So it wants me to add its own API at this point, which, which uh, I'm not quite uh, comfortable doing it. So the system is shut down. It shows the true potential of these systems, even if it is just a simple text generation 
language model, you can see the potential of the system. So this is an open source solution at this point. You can go see the code. It's built on a lot of open source applications and you can see that, um, you know, they're looking for support and all these things. Given, given this application, currently it has three important features. The first one is long-term memory. So you can build an agent and then keep it and then come back and then retrieve the memory. It can access internet and it can access other websites and people. I don't know what does it mean. The tech stack is quite open source tech stack. It, it has a bootstrapping uh, interface and also, you know, it has all the typical web application thing. If you want to run this on your local machine, they've got clear steps about how to replicate or clone this repository and then run it on your local machine. I have not tried to run this on my local machine yet uh, because it's going to cost a lot of uh, API tokens definitely. But it is a very interesting concept. And in fact, like you can see 10 hours back, they actually changed the readme saying that, you know, it's projected to cost 150 US dollars per day. So they want donations. So it's an interesting concept. The internet seems to be loving it. I think everybody is quite interested in autonomous AI agent at this point. And um, right now, if you are ready to put your open API key, you can go and add your API key and then start interacting with this agent where you can deploy autonomous AI agents for a pursuit of a particular given goal.